Welcome to the next installment of Advocate Discusses. This is part two of the main six mini-series, and this will be about Twilight Sparkle. But first, I would like to make a few remarks, a few housekeeping tidbits. First, a reminder, this Discusses series this whole thing that I'm doing. It is, as I said before, I pick something that I'm familiar with to some degree, and I just give my opinion. What do I like? What do I not like? Things like that. Would I recommend it? Or would I not? So, yeah. I yeah, There is that nagging feeling in the back of my mind I should have thought of a better name, but what's done is done. This is what it is. So, on to the next point. I actually already made a video about Twilight, but when after I posted it, I went back on there, and YouTube's copyright filter has it blocked because, to back up some of what I said in that, I used episode footage. And Hasbro eh, episode online can't do that. So whatever. I personal I personally said that YouTube's copyright thing is schizophrenic, but that's just me. So just to be safe, I won't be using episode footage. I'll just be making references to certain episodes, and I, I will also be cutting out on the music and the screenshots. I'll keep that to a minimum. Mainly the opening and ending sequences for the, as far as music goes and the pony related screenshots. Just better safe than sorry. And I am also going to be changing the format this second attempt. I just basically I'm going to assume you guys know who I'm talking about, so I'll skip the bio, get right into it. What do I like? What do I dislike? And what other miscellaneous information do I have to give? Or what other things do I have to say? What do I think overall? So let's get down to it. Some things that I like, first and foremost. I like that she's kind of bright, like she's knowledgeable in a lot of different things. I can relate to that because that's how I have always been. I've always been that particular guy that everyone goes to like, hey, I need help with something. So, one way or another, yeah. And... Uh, Twilight went from being complete, uh, completely anti-social bookworm to finding out, hey, friendship is awesome, and now, and now she does everything she can to stick up for friends. I like that. It's like, without your friends, you don't really have much. So that's, that's something I can respect, even if she, there are instances where she tries a little too hard. She means well. And I like the dynamic that they put between her and some of the other characters, like her and Spike, most of the time. And of course, you have the whole backstory with her and Celestia, her and Shining Armor, and that whole thing. So this is kind of nice to see. And on a kind of a related note to that, it's like, I like how she's got the mentality, it's like, if you need something, come to me, I got your back, and more often than not, she does, so she's somewhat dependable in that regard, and that's really all the key points that I like about her. So let's move on to some things I don't really like. Uh, some things I don't really like. I'll get the 
easy ones out of the way. For a few of the things I don't like, they're just little nitpicky things. Some things there were just one and done. It was in a, a single episode and it was gone. First up is her fears in Ghostbusters, where she's afraid of being seen as a show off. Twilight used magic before that episode. You hypocrite. <laughs> so that, thankfully, that was resolved. She learns like, yeah, it's okay. I'm not, I use magic. I just have to remember not to brag about it. Next point. Feeling pinky keen. That episode. You know you done goofed. When even the show's creator publicly apologizes. I don't know what they were thinking with that. But hey, Twilight evolves into Rapidash. So that's one redeeming factor. And that has never been refer to again. They use the pinky sense, but that's it. Twilight is a believer. Now we got the fun parts. Going back to Winter Wrap-Up, she tries to find out something she can do to help with cleaning up, cleaning up winter. This is one of the cases where she tries way too hard. She tries too hard to fit in, and she suffers by the end of the episode she's just broken and that's where we, fi we find out hey organization we find we find out hey she she's a pretty competent leader or ponyville is just a bunch of <laughs> yeah after all that's resolved. You think, hey, it's okay. We get to season two. Lesson zero. And it's all about time. Both of those episodes have kind of the same thing. Twilight's obsessing over something really minor. And all throughout the episode, you have characters trying to tell her, like, calm down. In Lesson Zero, it was that letter. It's like, it's just one little letter. She's not going to care. Turns out, she really didn't care. Instead, she had every letter on a letter, but didn't have to be on a weekly basis. And then, of course, with that said about time, worrying about a disaster that doesn't even exist. Basically going paranoid over nothing in, bo on both, in both of those episodes. Season 3 really didn't have too much in the way of parts I didn't like, but basically, to summarize that, to summarize kind of why I don't like, this is sometimes she tries too hard, sometimes she's, ob she's obsessive over nothing, and her OCD is just like, what the heck? And I think that kind of wraps that up there. So, just kind of some miscellaneous tidbits. She is just one of those kind of characters that sometimes you can tolerate her. Sometimes this is like, hey, you're you're pretty cool, and. She could prove to be invaluable when it when it comes down to it. As sometimes they are facing something, they have no idea what it is. Twilight just goes to the library, pulls out a book. Aha! And she knows what to look for in certain things. So again, that goes back to her being the clever one of the group. But when you live a life of nothing but studying. Yeah, it kinda happens. Not to say studying isn't bad, but it is good to socialize. 
I speak from experience. And next, the big one I want to point out, the miscellaneous opi the opinion that I have, Twilight as a princess. Legend of Zelda jokes aside, I approve of them making Twilight a princess. She earned it. Leadership, organization, optimism, just being there for everyone. You and you put the all the subplots of Friendship is Magic and the events of Equestria Girls, the movie, all together. She proved herself. She proved she had what it takes. And I'm excited to see how they implement that in Season 4. Official word is it won't write Twilight off the show. It won't overtake the plot by any means. So that that's, uh, that's good to hear. I st but I am looking forward to seeing how they work with that. Now, not everyone likes Twilight as a princess. One of my friends doesn't like her because he's just too used to seeing her without wings. And it's like, okay. I'm not that nitpicky. So, yeah. Feel free to state your opinions on that matter in the comments section. I think that about wraps up what I have to say about Princess Celestia's personal student. So with all of that, I will sign off here and see you in the next video. So long. I feel, feel